All right, so the last part of this uh, moving the graph around is the reflections, which can be a little bit confusing because of um, how they look. So we got a little, little thing here to do first. So it says plot the point 2, 3 on the grid below and label it A. So 2, 3, there's point A. It says reflect it over the y-axis and label it A prime. So the y-axis, remember to reflect the count. Uh, so 1, 2, 1, 2. So it'll be right there. So that's A prime. And then it says um, plot the point 5, 2. Let me really count. 1, 2. Reflect it over the x-axis and label it B prime. So it's going to be right there. So there's B and there's B prime. All right, so then what's it say down here? It says, when you reflected point A, what changed? So what changed? Well, let's write down A prime coordinates. How about it? Negative 2, 3. I'll write this one down also. 5, negative 2. So when you reflected point A, what changed? The x coordinate became your change. Let's just put change signs. And then when I reflected over the x axis, the y coordinate changed signs. So that's what happens when I do this reflection, and that's going to kind of help us, um, you know, talk about what happens when we're looking at the, um, the, the graph of what's going on there. So reflected over the y-axis, the x-coordinate change signs. When I reflected over the x-axis, the y-coordinate change signs.